Hi guys, hope you're as excited as we are about today's challenge. So we're going to get started today with some boxing. Okay guys, so today's all about boxing. If you're feeling a little bit stressed, this is a really good way to relieve your stress. So to get into your basic boxing stance, you need your left foot in, in front and your right foot behind. That's if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, you want to change it to a south foot stance. Paul today starting off with some jabbing and then some punches. So we're going to get straight into it today, guys. No messing around. Let's bring that energy up, bring that fire up. We want to see you really pushing today, guys. So left, left, twisting into that punch, extending over the right foot there. You should be able to see that movement punching. So now, going to move into some back. Okay, so this is your first back exercise today. It's called the bent over row. You need to ensure that you're bending your knees, guys, slightly leaning forwards at the waist, but as you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're maintaining the curvature in your spine. So this is working a few different muscles. It's working your latinus dorsi, your lats at the back, and it's also working your shoulders, guys. Okay, so notice that Paul's moving roughly in line with his thighs as he goes. Nice controlled movements. If you haven't got weights at home, guys, grab some cans. Okay, grab some cans from the kitchen. This can work with anything. You don't need to have dumbbells. Excellent. Good job. So we've got another two rounds of this to go, and in total, we've got five rounds of two different exercises today. Let's get cracking. Similar starting positions the last time, guys. 
bend knees, making sure you're leaning forwards at the waist, looking straight ahead, and you're flying, guys. Okay, keeping the arms nice and straight. And obviously today we are using dumbbells, but for you all at home, grab yourself some pants from the cupboard if you haven't got any dumbbells. Good start. You will start to feel this one in the top of your legs as well.
of these ones, guys, they're very similar to uh, the hooks that you were doing before, but now we're aiming lower, twisting at the waist. Try and bring your hand back up into your guard position each time, guys. Remember, we're just doing this for fitness, so as long as you're moving nice and quickly, that's the main thing. Technique, just do your best, guys. Don't worry too much about it, just get your body moving. Good stuff. Again, we're gonna go for 15 of these, nice and quickly. And then from there, moving down to the mat into a lower back exercise. So we've worked the upper back and the, the rear delts today, upper shoulder, we're now gonna work the lower back. So this is actually a core exercise. A lot of people forget that your lower back is part of your core area. That includes the abdominals, the obliques, and the lower back. So tummy pull in nice and tight for this one. Get your navel as close to your spine as you can, engaging your core throughout. Remember to keep breathing. Try not to let your feet touch the floor, guys. Try and make this nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Don't be jerky with it, be gentle. And also, don't quite let your chest touch the floor either. So moving up and down, nice and slowly, nice and controlled, guys. Excellent, so again, 15 of these. Starts off quite easy, you'll start to feel a tension in your lower back. Remember to keep that core engaged all the time, very important. Excellent. 
Good stuff. Try and hold that. Also, try not to bridge with the hands, guys. Try and keep your hands out in line with your elbows as you do this. Excellent. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Almost there, guys. Push on through. Let's get this done together. button down below if you enjoyed today's workout guys show us some love hit that like button as well we'll see you all again next week for your next workout